talking about this upcoming player a little bit earlier in the day. We have Quick coming up, who oh, of course yeah. made an upset yesterday over Salem. Yes. And uh, his opponent is T. T, the other T. <laughs> yes, this is the Pac-Man T. <laughs> like the um, herbal T. <laughs> now, I will say this. I did get to commentate the end, or sort of like the ending of doubles last night. Yeah. And T was teaming with T. <laughs> Which made commentating it very difficult. <laughs> yeah, I, but, I saw. I was watching but, that from home. <laughs> but 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 uh, that was honestly T versus T or T and T versus Mr. R and uh, Captain Zach was the most hype doubles set I have ever commentated. Oh, yeah? I have ever seen in my life. If you have an opportunity to go back and watch any set, watch that one. All right. Well, I'm, I gotta watch everything Quick, from Prime uh, Saga, man. Yeah, this. I'll be real. To, uh, I've only seen the sets I've commentated, and there's there was so much hype stuff going on on the stream when I was commentating, and there was a whole other stream that I couldn't see. Yes. <laughs> during that Similar time. Similar to, so. to right now. <laughs> yeah. And then the off off stream upsets, man. Off stream sets that like who knows how many game threes there were. There were a ton of notable game threes as well. Well. I'm really excited to see what what character that uh, is quick going to use. I mean, he does play Zero Suit Samus. He does yeah. have a, the Dark Samus, but he typically rolls with just Samus. Yeah, that's it. That's his. Uh, that's a baby right there. Um, and his movement with the character. I, I did see him talking on Twitter. It seemed like maybe he wasn't as confident in his Zero Suit Samus, but uh -huh. after the last couple of days, he was like, "Oh, okay." My, my ZSS kind of nice. Yeah, ZSS is definitely kind of nice. Yeah. But I'm expecting uh, just regular Samus I, I to be, also expect that for to sure. be the pick here from Quick. Yeah, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised at all. And I would love to see it, honestly, because Samus, after this weekend, I'm starting to believe Samus <laughs> and Dark Samus, they, they're kind of nice, man. We had YB with Dark Samus. Oh. That was a man who, this is his second offline tournament ever. ever. Apparently, he's which, been a, a top Samus since Brawl, and he's never entered an offline tournament until he... Two days ago. Yeah. What is that? The pre-Saga event was his first <laughs> offline tournament ever. Prime Saga being his second offline tournament. But, Correct. I mean, just we're going to see why Samus is it's such so a threat good, yeah. and why Samus is a real character. But yes, she still has some of the – or okay, I guess we're not going to see it. <laughs> but Dang, man. Uh, some of the, Dang, man. Some of the uh, quirks that uh, Samus had in, like, previous iterations of the game still exist, like not being able to use the second jab, yeah. still falling out of up smash, but the Samus mains are making it work. But instead, we're going to see Zero Suit Samus. Like you said, you know, he has been using his Zero Suit Samus. It is kind of nice. And, uh, it's pretty nice. I want to see what the setup is going to be. No, that, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 way, no, no, no. Get out of here, T. <laughs> I, I see you, T. I wonder what his tag says in Japanese. He wrote some. You read Thanks. Japanese? No, I don't. <laughs> Yeah. All right, one, I of, one, of, one of us has got to learn Japanese, bro. Well, that'll be for <laughs> next time as we see. We have a quick right, button, a button check. check. yeah. But yeah, man, I, Samus, again, such a potent character. I mean, there is Zero Suit Samus, but I just I want to talk more about Samus. Like, I mean, he's quick. That's definitely yeah, we might Samus see it throughout to, uh, this set, too. Yeah, so, I'm, yeah, I'm hoping we do. At least one game, yeah. either Dark Samus or Samus. Just because Quick has, like, some of the best movement I've seen Look with the Samuses. Uh, just based on, like, just being able to maneuver and air drift with charge shot yeah charge and being shot, able to use the reversals being able to jump out of charge shot now is a great uh, life change for samus as well and, and one thing i really want to showcase is the way that quick uses charge shot to land and the position that he'll use charge shot now, normally we, we think of like charge shot being that setup or setup con or kill confirm but he will like use the like mini charge shot right in your face on your shield yeah yeah man charge shot uh is super good I've seen Quick get 50% at zero off of a almost full or full charge shot into a grab into down throw fair. Well, and I'm hoping that we get to see a little bit. I want to see that. Uh, Maybe he'll go right to the Samus after this button check. We'll see. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I, who knows? To be honest, if, if, we, if we get three games with Quick, I want to see Samus, Dark Samus, and Zero Suit Samus. <laughs> I want to see them all. I've I got to see the whole spectrum, bro. Okay, and that's what is the pick going to be? Yes, we're starting Samus. with Zero Suit. All right, I do like the pick. I mean, she's a very nimble character. And with sometimes, like, you know, you, you don't want to do the projectile versus projectile matchup. And, like, it, it can get a little bit mucky, right? Too much going right, on. Right. At, at the very least, with Zero Suit Samus, he he's just has to focus on maneuvering around Pac Man and his projectiles. That's right, and let's see what what are the tools that Quick's going to utilize to get through the wall of uh, fruit and uh, fire hydrant. 
that is going to be put out by T. Oh my god, all the forward airs coming out. Big damage, 43 already. That's right, dropping with a back air, setting up uh, the hydrant to be really uh, sent as a projectile at any moment. Okay, breaking out with the Nair from Shield. Now T opting to set up for Galaga set of the quick taking it away. All right, there's so many, like, you gotta be so careful with the Hydrant a lot of the time. Um, you wanna get it out of there before, but as you can see right there, quick dealing damage to the Hydrant with his Paralyzer shot actually allowed T to hit it with a single hit and send it flying back towards Quick. So it's a double-edged sword a lot of the time. Like, you gotta have, I, I forgot what the Ooh. damage threshold, I think it has like 13 HP or something like that. So you gotta hit it with a strong enough move or or two strong enough moves. Did you see that setup? Oh my god, I mean, we're gonna <laughs> see a lot of those setups oh, throughout yeah, we this are, set. Sure. I hope that we get to see the, the Hydrant Bell setup that you threw out earlier uh, actually work, because to see it actually work, uh, mid-tournament would be kind of crazy. But we see a good Galaga setup coming out from T. It's going to put a good amount of damage. But with Boost Kick out of Shield, great option for Quick, but not really going to put uh, T in a horrible position. Yo, I Ooh. love the use of the Galaxian ship right there to um, kind of make his recovery a lot safer. Yeah, covering his approach back to the Yo. stage. Okay, but what was that? He just let it rip. Great read. That's what that was. Caught, yeah. caught T jumping. Yeah, caught T jumping, caught him committing to the Hydrant and just Who's kipping through all of that? It's not bad. I believe uh, you are actually able to beat it out before the hydrant comes out. So you're able to just kind of contest it with a hitbox. So really smart recognition from Quick there. I don't know if they have any uh, Pac-Man in Germany, but, uh, you know, he's the best in his region. So I'm sure he's beat a couple in yeah, his day. He must know some trick for it. But we see another boost hit connecting onto T. Oh, and look at that. T just expecting the water from the Hydrant to uh, push quick into his danger zone. So even if quick, like, oh. actually... Oh, that's good. Yep, the yep. bell into the up smash. Easy punish for T, only 32% on him. So if you actually look at the position that T's uh, oh. standing, he'll throw out the Hydrant and create some space, and then if uh, quick opts to jump over the Hydrant and space something safely on his shield, the water pushes... Uh, quick right into the danger zone. So even though he's facing it correctly, he still gets punished. Oh my god, air dodging through the uh, apple. I don't think the apple would have killed, but it definitely would have put him in a really bad spot. So. Okay, missing the Zare, but the Nair out of shield isn't going to connect. Okay, Zare into the immediate jabs on landing. T already at 100%. He gets down smash into the forward smash. That's still right. still kind of trips out my mind to see like two smash attacks combo <laughs> into each other, but hey. It's, it's a nice one. I like the animations. Yeah, he really can't combo out of down smash anymore. Yeah. Like the, just the amount of sun time that it has is so little it's, that you really yeah, have to just hard. pull the it's trigger hard. on something. You got to be at a high enough percentage, too. It's it's not like super early as it was before. Okay, well, we see those uh, quick throwing out a lot of forward airs, slowly putting on damage onto, onto T, but another boost kick out of shield. With really good option from quick as a Pac Man being like just a, a round ball of a hitbox. Um, yeah. Really commits to to being in your shield, in your space, if he tries to throw out a forward air. He's just a, a whole hurt box, man. <laughs> it's like all he is. Yep, you see forward air into a nair oh. and a key to land onto Quick, and Quick finding okay. himself at 113%. What's the setup here? He's going to do some damage to the Hydrant. Bell out on the field as well. Oh, Ooh. putting a little bit more distance yeah. between him and Quick by using the Hydrant. Okay, forward air, and now the bell is Ooh. online, able to roll away so dangerous. So scary, man. Down to connecting, and even getting a little bit of push, of a push from the water. Okay, what do we got out? Hydrant's not gonna come out. I like that. He's Rinse got the and bell repeat. out. Rinse and repeat. Oh, yo! Hello, using the bell to send the hydrant over towards Quick and destroy that stock. Quick was not expecting it at all. Yeah, and as you can see, he like, ready, dropping man. game one. I mean, we knew that the he was going to be throwing the bell, but I didn't expect the bell to actually Cut, yeah. uh, to to launch the, the fire hydrant. Enough damage. He may have hit it previously. As, as I mentioned, it does have a certain damage threshold, so if you have an attack that does enough damage right away, you can cleanly knock it off in one hit, but I, I think he had hit it. He like did. Fire, he had definitely yeah. set up for it. Yeah. But, I mean, that was just like lack of knowledge from 
from Quick, from Quick that yeah. uh, th like throwing the bell that he would be able to do that. Yes, yeah. exactly. Well, here we go. Game two, still sticking out with Zero Suit Samus, and it kind of makes sense now that I've seen the way that Quick is approaching this matchup against yeah. T and Pac-Man. Uh, that he's not going to be going to Samus because the Hydrant would just eliminate uh, most of the projectiles. Yes, very true. And not only that, but the fact it, he, he's he's very much using the Zero Suit as a counterpick to the Hydrant and not necessarily like Pac-Man, right? Uh, the Hy Hydrant being a really good tool in Pac-Man's arsenal, but he's, he's able to get up here in the positions where T wants to drop the Hydrant, and uh -huh. he's able to kind of like challenge him before the Hydrant comes out a lot of these times. That's right. As you can see, Quick really making mixing up his approaches and recoveries, uh, committing to using the Quick Flip quite a bit. Okay, gets a grab and throws T off stage. And now, oh, but T able to make it back, getting the Galaga setup, but not getting the the link between the Galaga and the up air. Okay, another F tilt. Now Quick playing very aggressive off stage, landing a back air, but it doesn't send T off stage, but we see the down smash, but the second hit of F smash doesn't connect. Oh, man. Ooh, nearly getting punished there. Didn't have enough lag, though. That's right. Just what is this bell setup from, from T? Constantly using the bell and then trying to catch it with the Nair. Let's see. What is he going to be going for? Oh, he gets the bell set up into an up smash. Up smash going to connect for T right here, moving up on this first stock. He's at 125%, though. He's got to be really careful about how he plays this. Luckily, uh, Pac-Man actually really good. He can he can actually put himself off stage, and he wants to a lot of the time in order to charge this fruit, and he has such a great recovery that he can make it back. But a run-up boost kick from Quick is going to even up the stocks, only taking 33%. You know Quick. Definitely you're gonna try to keep the space a little bit closer. Not trying to get let T set up these uh these hydrant uh, shenanigans. Okay, double zares. Throwing out a triple. Oh, and just hit him with a couple oh, of blaster no. shots as well. I like how they're like fighting over the hydrant. But uh, <laughs> a couple of zares from uh from quick and put a little bit of damage and another boost kick out of shield. That seems to be the answer for all of Quick's problems. Yeah, especially because like, <laughs> what what else is Pac-Man supposed to do about that, right? Like he he his his joints, right? His attacks, his aerials, everything that he wants to hit him with, they're they don't have too much range. Look at how stubby he is. So basically, yeah. anything that he hits on shield is going to get punished by that up B, uh, that up special out of shield. Oh, but he goes and tries to grab the bell just a little bit too early, gets caught by it, and now PT just <laughs> pushing his opponent towards <laughs> the ledge slowly. Dude, I can't believe that. That was nutty. Still T looking good. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, but not getting no follow the follow-up. Now doing like an empty hop, doing a falling back air, but it doesn't find it, and a back air from Quick connects onto T. Yeah, what a quick turnaround from Quick. <laughs> Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> quick, quick indeed. And now they're going to beat out the, the follow-up, but we see another oh, bell into is. back air. The back air he wanted on that first attempt. Finally going to connect. Okay, what is the setup going to be? Using the Galaga to get off the ledge. Now really just covering uh, his approach. And now we go another setup from the Hydrant. Now, funny thing about this setup is that uh, whenever T is on the ledge, he can actually commit to just floating off stage for quite some time. And there's actually very little that Quick can do about it. Right, Outside so of like running off and like trying to challenge it. Yeah. But even then, he has the up B, which will just allow him to make it back to the ledge safely. For sure. Hydrant going to land onto Quick right here. Pressure, he's trying to pressure T to go back into the corner. But of course, as I mentioned earlier, yeah, you can see T is very comfortable off the stage anyway, so if he gets back up into the corner, he can just put himself on stage and use that opportunity to charge some fruit as he does so right there. Yeah, it really looks like that no matter what position T yeah. is in, he's really he's feeling he's comfortable. Chilling. He's, chilling. he's just going to like take his sweet time. Oh. There's no rush. Bell Definitely hand. playing that, that pack. Oh, speed. the key got me mixed up. Okay, drop him with down airs. Using the, the hydrant to cover his landing. Ooh, these bell Yo, setups are so crazy. That was see. so n nasty, too, because he sent the uh, Hydrant flying, and he knew that Quick was going to want to jump out of his shield. The Hydrant not connecting, but it will there the bell into the forward smash. Yeah, and it looked like that uh, T was, looked like um, Quick was trying to set up for like an empty hop back air. You know, he had been doing a lot of cross-up back airs onto T's shield, which he hadn't really been able to punish, but T not 
going to get caught off guard, knowing that he wasn't going to push a button, just threw the bell. Yeah. Take game two. Yeah, absolutely. So T moving up 2-0 in this set, but not without a fight from Quick, man. He's yet to find a game, but he's definitely keeping this very close to the chest. So let's see how he's able to bring this back in the possibly next two to three games. That's right. I want to see a game five between these two players, I especially with like. I always want to see it. Like, like obviously, like Pac-Man is a a little bit of like a slower character. Yeah. He's slower paced. Um, but with just with the way that Quick's been adapting to T, and just how proficient T is at setting up the traps, and he has like unique traps for Pac-Man. Pac I just want to see more. Yeah, absolutely. There's another boost kick. Oh, and the apple to cover the landing. So smart from T. You know, the use of every, um, every, fruit. every fruit, even though some of them aren't fruit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bo bonus fruit. That's the name of the move, man. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, getting a back air, beating out the, the tether grab from Quick. Oh, look at that shield, shield damage. Looking so, so unhealthy right now. Quick still going to fight. This is, this is the moment he wants to use his aggression. He tries to go for that really... Uh, daring back air off stage. That's right, and just getting kicked to the side of the stage. Oh, good position on the hydrant. Even if uh, if if Quick had had been able to, to just check uh, T shield, he would have been in a safe position. But using the bell at the ledge, getting the Zare drop, but oh. not getting the com the confirm the follow up. Yeah, it's interesting that he went for the forward air, uh, forward smash there. He was behind Quick. I think the up smash would have been able to connect for the kill as well, and it's gonna cost them, man, because Quick taking. The first stock with his own up special. That's right, paralyzed to up special. Still bread and butter for Zero Suit Samus here in Smash Ultimate. There it oh. is again, the same setup we saw before, but no heavy punish from T, yeah, causing him to jump and then getting the. Oh, okay. So that's really yeah, smart. Nasty. He dropped the he dropped the hydrant, <laughs> dropped the bell, yeah. and then the hydrant extended the hitbox, the active hitbox Yo. of the bell. Oh my God! All that damage off the Galaxian ship. Night, neat little combo coming out from T. And T having, or uh, Quick having a lot of trouble getting these approaches onto T. Okay. The Hydrant is acting like such a strong wall that T has to just move, or, or Quick has to move around. Okay, Nair beating out Quick's approach. Down air from Quick. He's got T at the ledge now. All right, not committing to anything, kind of just letting her get back. No, he wanted that grab and he paid for it, man. Getting a bell to his face and losing his stock for it. And now using the Galaga to uh, make it back to stage, just covering any type of aggression that Quick was going to be throwing out. But we do see an up air and oh, a Nair to interrupt and combo break Quick. Okay, harassing on the platform with these up airs. Quick still yet to find this stock, working on it. The Hydrant at the ledge is going to make it a little bit difficult, especially to get him uh, trapped at the ledge, just making T's recovery a little bit safer. That's right, and Quick, you know, having a little bit of difficulty, but Melon actually uh, being the choice of fruit from T. Oh, okay, air, try to air dodge back to the stage. That's going to make him eat a little bit of damage. The Hydrant pushing him into that down smash. T just showing exactly what this character can do. That's right, and that's just like the Hydrant water. Yo, oh, the oh. fell into up smash, and that's enough to take the set. Yeah, and that's so far the strongest performance that T has had in that game, a dominant two stock and a 3-0.